Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your May mid-monthly reading. It's going to be a general read. Um, whatever comes up, comes out. Could be love, could be career, could be school, could be work, could be family, whatever. Um, it's for sun, moon, rising, for whatever you want it to be for. I'm going to do a five card advice spread. I have shuffle and prayed over the cards off camera, but I give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. I have brought back the $15 reading. Take advantage of that over at my website. All the information is below. All right, so let's get started. The first card is you right where you are. Thank you for the messages for Virgo. Where's Virgo? First card is Virgo right where they are. Okay. Second card is are you on your correct path? Is Virgo on the correct path? No. Alright. And what is your main obstacle? What's the main obstacle here for Virgo? What's helping you? What is helping Virgo? Who's helping Virgo? What's helping Virgo? Who's helping Virgo? Okay. And the fifth card. How can progress be made? bottom of the deck the nine of water or the nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment talks about the manifestation of also you put your intentions out into the universe um, depending on how much you believe and how strong they are and what you do to um, get your wish fulfillment it could possibly very well come true for you so nine of nine of water nine of cups here Right. First card, you right where you are, strength. Some of you are having the strength to move forward, to move on, to move in, to go through, to get through. It's been tough. Normally when you see strength, you, the devil is here. Fears, insecurities problematic situations toxicity addiction so you have a strength in moving forward are you on your correct path page of water it says that a message of uh, emotional an emotional message cancer Pisces Scorpio could be Pisces here with the fishtail Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So a message of um, that will stir you emotionally probably will possibly take you to your correct path or has taken you there. We have the nine of water at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like there's a message that will um, bring some, okay, bring some course correction to some of you. What is the main obstacle? The two of fire. For Virgo, two of fire. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Leo in particular. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you actually choosing a new path. Charting a new path. Or choosing to stay on the same one. But knowing that there's two two very real options. And you're, you're actually... This is a card of movement. You're doing whatever you need to do to move forward. Some of you are actually... You know... Uh, putting the metal putting the pedal to the metal actually taking action and some of you are readying yourself to take action and what is helping you empress you being abundant you being able to create firstly in your mind and in your emotions the environment, the world that you want for yourself. Some of you dealing with the Taurus, the Libra. This is, for me, this is typically Virgo. And this is also spiritual, like, because it's a three card. You you are incorporating, you know, the mind, body, and soul. You, you have gotten this down. You know what it takes to, to sit on the throne that you made for yourself. Hmm. Alright. How can progress be made? The Ten of Water. Nice. Progression. Nine of Water at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Water here. 
So you get your wish fulfilled. It could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. Heavy water in your chart. Wish fulfillment. The ultimate level of happiness here. Because you've created this for yourself. Um, it could be a windfall of good luck and or money. Just good fortune coming in. What is the strength card? What's the strength? <laughs> Excuse me. What's the strength card for Virgo? What's the strength card for Virgo? Strength card for Virgo. All right. Come on. The four of air. Messenger of fire. So some of you are wanting separation or have had separation or, or, or getting, mustering up the energy to have separation from maybe a fire sign, um, an immature fire sign, a younger fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or someone who is just very in and out, indecisive, very passionate, very fiery, very charismatic, charming, wants what they want, but doesn't really look, look at the greater good of... Um, of a family situation okay page of water what's the page of water for virgo page of water for virgo page of water for virgo the lovers a choice could be you could be done with a gemini virgo um Some of you want to offer that loving message to someone. You already have someone else. Some of you, the message is that I'm ready to make a choice. Right. But you're the hangman status about moving forward. Maybe with a Pisces. To a fire. To a fire. High priestess. Listening to your intuition. And then becoming abundant. The high priestess and then the empress is next. You're holding on to the fact that. You are moving forward. And possibly in a new direction. You're also letting spirit work with you. And through you. To help. To help you have this move. You're holding on to your cards tightly. Right. You're keeping secrets with the moon card. You. you um, some of you. The empress. Nine of fire. Yeah. You've been through so much here. You stepped away from the situation. You're evaluating the situation. Understanding and wondering if you even want to go back into it. With the four of swords over here. Taking a break from a Sagittarius. Yeah. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign that is just whew, wayward. Just won't do right. Does right for five days. Does wrong for the next ten days. You know it's like You just completely canceled out all the good you did. You know. It's a it's a it's it's a bit much for some of you out there. What's the ten of water? Eight of fire. Messenger of water. Three of water. Okay. Ace of air, the bottom of the deck now. Alright, so some of my Virgo my Virgo women you might be dealing with a fire sign, like I said, wayward, just won't get right, won't do right, does right for three days, F's up for the next three months. You know, it's just, it's too much. It's too burdensome. You may have had um, separation or a period of separation, uh, not much communication, even if you guys live together. It's as if, you, you know, it's two ships passing, you know, in the night, in the day, whatever. Um... You're really contemplating actually taking a new path. Some of you are charting a new path. Or for my Virgo women, you're really thinking about it. For a Virgo to actually move away from 
they have to be completely fed up and I didn't see the ten of wands here so my Virgo women are still in it but at the same time they're out of it too one foot in one foot out my Virgo men or yeah my Virgo men or um, someone with Virgo on their chart Cancer Pisces Scorpio on their chart they are trying to move away from a situation that is already established they're holding on to their cards and what they're doing really tightly they're also working with spirit and listening to their intuition and just letting things play out naturally because they know exactly what they want or who they want they have manifested this change with the nine of water and then the nine of cups and then the ten of cups is the actual physical um, highest level of happiness them getting and living in their their uh, wish fulfillment elsewhere um they're doing a lot in secret and they're working heavily with spirit and just letting things move forward some of my virgo men are dealing with gemini women um or gemini libra aquarius women there is another party here with the empress here um but it may not it may, may be very little communication but communication is coming in to where my virgo men can then offer their cup of emotion with the messenger of water or the knight of cups and then the three of water having that reconciliation that reunion um and that they so wish for with the nine of water and then the ten of water all right and having victory with the ace of water i mean the ace of air uh, ace of air is about truth and clarity someone seeing truly the truth coming out it's just being clear that it's ending it's done i'm moving on and i have a victory in the midst of this newness this truth comes out and it creates newness for everyone involved um for some it's gonna be heartbreak with the fire of water and somebody's hesitating before making the decision because they're emotionally confused or they've been living in illusion and disillusionment for so long but they know that they love someone or something else um but they're in something toxic maybe with the capricorn uh if not um it's third party situation if someone needs to be left out so they can have a new foundational start with the ace of earth okay let's get some additional messages in here all right i hope that covered everybody um there wasn't much I didn't see much career and finance there and I apologize for some of you who are looking for that maybe we'll find it in the support cards here thank you for the additional messages for Virgo off camera when I was shuffling the butterfly oracle card for you he has a really good energy windfall self-employment um, you know I think that's what I can remember so for some of you who are looking for, you know, um, career and finance, finance, look, oh, finances fell out of the deck for you. It looks really good for you. Um, and maybe that's why it didn't come up in the reading because, you know, you already know. Adult children, heavenly signs. Okay, wow. <laughs> Body changes, religion and spirituality, sentimental feelings. Some, somebody's question questioning religion and spirituality someone is questioning you know like what they believed in their whole life heavenly signs yeah it's like that could be with religion and spirituality but a lot of this has to do with the relationships surrounding whether it's business whether it is um romantic heavenly signs you have to listen to them you have to know when they're there uh, it can come through music instrument uh items anything but you have to not just dismiss it as coincidence or a nuisance or all that just happened you know whatever you have to really know that 
okay something or someone is trying to speak to me uh, either through me or to me or, or for my situation or for someone else's situation you could be an empath hmm. body changes okay it's the season you know it's spring summer everybody's trying to institute the body changes by way of exercise and diet or you may just be having some real body changes in the midst of some of you have dealt with um <clears throat> Uh, you're dealing with um, health related issues listen to your body changes listen to your body when your body start talking please listen do not ignore the body um, especially those of us who are you know a bit older um, don't ignore it take care of yourself adult children of course you could <laughs> we all are someone's child um so adult children you may have adult children or young adult children uh and they're coming up they're highlighted here for you you're thinking about them and they're thinking about you there's something here maybe they can help you with something in something or you need to help them in something or with something um there's a connection here to you moving forward uh, or, or vice versa you're an adult child now and you need to go backwards meaning you need to put a little bit more care and understanding and attention into your your parents you know because they might be elderly now or just older okay sentimental feelings the sentiment for a situation is here like uh, when I see sentimental feelings I just get a heavy feeling of obligation a lot of you are um, in situations out of obligation you know so this in and, and then the obligation is because of the sentiment it's like sentiment is like uh, I can only I guess I can give an analogy I don't know um It's not, like they're saying, I, you know, I'm here, but I'd rather be somewhere else. You know, and, and I'm here because of, you have all, all of these very tangible or intangible um, obligation reasons or oblig whatever that word is. Uh, my, oh my right hand is itching guys yeah, I'm gonna get some money great um, sorry sentimental feelings it's like you know it's a level of yes I have love and care for this person but do I really want to be here I have love and care for this this job um, you know and I love the opportunity that it's provided me but do I really want to be here? No, there's no passion here. There's no desire. There's no motivation. There's just sentimental feelings. Like, you know, it's like almost like, you know, you go to somebody's cookout and, you know, you, you, you drive into the cookout and you have your heart set on, um, shish kebabs and they'll have all kinds of, you know, um, chicken and you know peppers and all kinds of things you know some some kebabs and you get there and all they have is hot dogs and it's like mm, you know thank you <laughs> for the invite and thank you for uh you know inviting me here definitely have my heart set on a nice kebab guess I'll take a hot dog y'all is is that you know so you some of you feeling that way in relationship with this romantic business whatever I don't know request a personal reading um, some of you are feeling that way uh, just about life in general or career or um, yeah it's just like it's a lot of heavy obligation in the midst of relationships that you're you're in all right, so Virgo, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you once again for always tuning in. Thank you to my faithfuls out there. Um, 
go over to the website look around um, book a reading uh, take advantage of the $15 readings all right um, remember Virgo when in doubt pray I am praying for you pray for me as well okay take care guys